In this lesson, you will learn how to find the volume of a rectangular prism. We will also discuss the volume of a cube. What is volume? Volume is measured by how many cubic units it would take to fill a given space. As you can see in our illustration, the cube shaded yellow is a cubic unit. The number of cubic units it takes to fill a defined space is what we call volume. Our example is a geometric solid called rectangular prism. To find the volume of any rectangular prism, we'll just simply multiply the length times the width times the height. The length and the width of a rectangular prism are always at the bottom of the shape. These two dimensions make up the base of the rectangular prism. In this case, the length is 6 and the width is 4. Multiplying the length times the width will give you the area of the prism space. This is the two-dimensional measurement. After multiplying the length and the width or the area of the base of the rectangular prism, multiply it by its height that will give us the volume. Multiplying the area of the base by the height is filling up the prism or adding depth. This is what gives it a third dimension or we call it the height. We can clearly see when multiplying the length times the width of the rectangular prism, we come up with 24 square units which would be the area of the base. Okay, remember this is only the two-dimensional measurement or area. And to get its volume, we must multiply now the area of 24 square units by whatever the height is to fill up the rectangular prism or to add depth or volume. If we multiply the area of the base, which is 24 by height of 1, that will give us 24 cubic units, which should be how many cubes it would take to make one level of rectangular prism. Okay? Adding two levels of 24, we would get a level of, yes, 48 cubic units. Okay? Three levels of 24 will give us 72 cubic units. Then four levels of 24 gives us 96 units and of course 5 levels of 24 will give us 120 cubic units okay so if we multiply the area of the base which is 6 times 4 by the height of 5 the result is 120 cubic units so again, to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we'll just simply multiply the length times the width times the height. Okay, so we could say that each level of the rectangular prism in our example contains 24 cubes. Okay, the length is 6, the width is 4, and the height is 1. So that gives us 24 cubic units. 6 times 4 times 2 gives us 48. 6 times 4 times 3 gives us 72. Again, 6 times 4 times 4 gives us 96. And 6 times 4 times 5, it gives us 120. Therefore, the volume of this rectangular prism is 120 cubic units. Let's have another example. Are the length, width, and height the same in measurement? What kind of solid figure is it? Yes, it is a cube. Okay? A cube is a special figure that has three dimensions. The length, the width, and the height. Since all the faces of the cube are perfect squares, the length, the width, and the height are equal. Okay? So the sides of the square are also called edges of the cube, and S is the symbol used. Thus, the formula to find the volume of a cube is... 
side times side times side or volume is equal to side cube or s cube or s raised to 3. So to find the volume of a cube with 4 cm as its side, we will just substitute s with 4. So s is 4, okay? 4 times 4 is 16 times 4 is equal to 64 centimeter cube okay so therefore the volume of this cube is 64 centimeter cube okay class that's all for today's lesson i hope you enjoyed the activity okay so see you next time have a lovely day everyone